Welcome to Solar Heating Tips, a new series from SolarWall. I'm John Hollick, CEO of the Solar Group of Companies and the inventor of the Transpire Collector. Today's topic is how to solar heat my building. After 35 years of working with clients to heat their buildings, the main issues have been cost, performance, appearance, and maintenance. So how can we solar heat a building and still address all of these issues. First, let's examine what are we actually trying to heat in a building. It's the air around us. This air must be warm and be of good indoor air quality. And when are buildings heated? It's in the cold months, when the windows are closed. Then we studied where are most people during the daytime when the sun shines. They are either at work, at school, or in public places. So Conserval Engineering solved these issues by removing most of the materials in a typical solar heating system. We get rid of the storage, the ugly collector boxes, the heat exchangers, the moving parts. The result is an engineered building integrated heating system which starts with a metal surface having thousands of micro perforated openings. It attaches to the south wall and connects to the fresh air inlets of HVAC equipment common on most buildings. Here's a sample of the solar wall panel. This one is black but it can be any dark color. As the fresh air passes through each opening in the metal surface it picks up the heat boundary layer and raises the air temperature by as much as 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Using a wall is actually better than a roof in winter since the wall is more perpendicular to the low sun angle. Snow on the ground will also reflect in up to 50 percent more sunlight and heat. So the wall can go around windows and doors and most people will not even know it's a solar heater. Best of all, it will heat the fresh air for decades and without maintenance. I like to cite an example of a new Ford employee who called us recently asking about solar wall for his assembly plant. I told him to go outside and look at the south wall of his building where solar wall had been installed 20 years prior and was still supplying free solar heat for that factory. He later admitted to having seen the wall, but did not realize it was heating the factory for all those years. That plan alone saved over one million heating dollars over that time period. I could go on and on about the unique features of SolarWall, but why not visit our website SolarWall.com where you can see hundreds of examples of buildings being heated and hear from clients who are enjoying the free heat and improved indoor air quality. I've enjoyed this brief session with you and appreciate that you have many options for saving energy. I hope that this has been informative and I look forward to presenting more solar heating tips in the future. Thank you.